a wet switch shove. Burial flip. Okay, tray flip. Okay, see, I was, I was getting cocky for a second. You know, on my little four foot by ten foot balcony. You know, all the fake turf laid out, because, you know, in California, there's not a lot of real grass. Not going to be real grass, but we can put down some fake turf. We got our garden grown over here. I bought like one of those like survival seed packs on Amazon that has like 50 packs of seeds, so I used some of them over here. The arugula, I'm so suspect about because none of these leaves look remotely close to what arugula looks like. Hey, hey, but then I got my succulents. This one's drying out, it's probably a little bit sun-baked. You can tell we got some little spider homies uh, taking care of the ecosystem up there. Make sure it's all good. We got succulent down there. You know all these things real too. So we got the oxygen flowing. We got some dill right here. We got Thai basil. I think this is Japanese because the leaves are a little different. Up here we got cilantro. Fire. This is my cat, Zula. She's a Bengal. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Yeah. So uh, she's a little feisty. Yeah. So this is a hydroponic garden. So all these roots are just constantly getting fed by a water stream and they're growing hydroponically. This is like a basin of water. I add like nutrients to it, different levels of nitrogen and stuff like that to make sure that it grows well. This is my girlfriend McKenna. Uh, we've been living together for about a year and then this is my other roommate Joseph Binkley. He filmed a lot of my first part for Santa Cruz. We grew up skating together. There's so many things about California I'm soaked on. It's not everything about California is better than Tennessee. You know you can't be a hospitality in Tennessee and just like the community that people have and like it's a lot less clicky, the skateboarding, I, I think, as well, because there's just less people doing it. This one's like duality, kind of like the two sides. I feel like the temptations of life is like the parties and the technology is always kind of supposed to be advancing the world and making the world like a better place. And it's supposed to make it easier for people to connect and stuff, but in reality, it's kind of tearing us all apart and keeping us further apart. The key is with the spinach, smash as much as you can in there. Normally I use the almond butter in this, but I had no almond butter, so I really didn't know what to do. The straight peanut butter bugs me out. Especially like creamy peanut butter. Eh. Like, I don't know. Yeah, poos already? Yeah. Shit, should I just go to poos first? Hey, hey, bring that basketball. That's what I was gonna tell you. Yeah, I know. I told Dylan I'd bring it to you guys. Is it a zoo? Normally is, but not bad today. Oh, yeah. No, it's chill. I forgot my fucking basketball. So we're out here, Poots Park. It's probably like noon. I'm with my boys Keegan and Toby. Uh, we're all running tricks down the stair steps. My hip's a little bugging out. It's a little fat right now from where I hit it a couple days ago, but still a session with the boys. Keegan just learned nollie flips down the two, down the three, down the four. I'm about to take it to the six. Yeah, was, did you see it? Probably not in the I best did, did. thing. Look at Josh coming in hot. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. I, I love skateboarding. Just kidding, I highly regret that, dude. Is that everybody? I feel like we had more people. We're heading to uh, play some basketball over in like Encinitas. Uh, what is that called? Cardiff? Cardiff area? Food session was fun. Super sick. You can learn some stuff down the six. I was filming for a little bit. So it was just a pretty normal time, you know, just skate for a little bit, learn some stuff. Um, my hip was a little hurting, so I decided to post up, film the homies and then some other homie that I don't really know. Got some clips of him too. 
Okay. But he didn't like how I filmed, so <laughs> I gotta work on that. <laughs> Your feet are bleeding. No, my feet are like actually bleeding. It's not sick. You know you should do? What should I do? Saran wrap your toes. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Last item was salami. Salami. Thank you. Not bad salami. It's only 800 calories for the whole pack. Jesus. Wow. You know those other train tracks? It's literally like Cardiff Beach. So it's like intro from Encinitas to Cardiff. Me, um, I had a pretty good stat line in the second game. I put up two points, um, like one of eight on attempts. I, uh, I had like one assist. I set like two screen assists, pretty heavy. But uh, we, we didn't have the best game. I mean, sorry, I had one point, not two points, Stealth's cap. We had two points as a team. So if you really look at that, I mean, I had like maybe one block. Maybe one block, probably zero steals. So, I mean, I'd, I'd draft me. Let's make sure no one's on the trip path. And let's get going, boys. Do you want to get Korean barbecue? Get the clip, get the clip. Ball on. 180 off, yeah! Yeah, you got the clip! Yeah! I love that shit, dude. You can't see that in Tennessee, man. You're not going to look at the side of the road and just see someone just getting a clip. I mean, it was all on 180 off, but it's a clip nonetheless. Where we at, Jake? <laughs> We're at Korean barbecue, baby. All we can eat. This shit was culinary master. Buffet style Korean barbecue. Shrimp, squid, onion, veggies, steam rolls, steamed rice, miso soup on tap. Talking jalapenos, bell peppers, and spicy teriyaki chicken. I cooked a whole onion bed before I even touched my ribeye to the grill. You can't do that anywhere else but Korea. And at M Barbecue. All right, so what you gotta do is press the button, timer starts. Basically, when it hits 10 seconds, you wanna be like, bop. If you get 10 seconds, then you uh, you win. So, uh, wait. I feel you get a terrible score. No way, are you serious? <laughs> that's You're robbery, not... dog. That's not even fair. <laughs> Dang, I thought I had that. Let's get it, Poots. Basketball, pretty typical, you know. At least one or at least two activities outside a day, no matter what it may be. You know, it was walking or a hike and skating or skating and basketball, skating and swimming, skating and surfing, skating and skimming. Like basically anything outside, as long as you're doing something outside, being like in touch with vitamin D and nature and stuff. Mm -hmm. This has been a day of my life. Thanks for tapping in. Thanks for looking into my life a little deeper. Um, this is how I live nowadays, and I wouldn't live it any other way. So. Thanks for checking it out. So while we were all ripping all day, Zill was posted up here, being a good girl, being the best she can. You want a treat? You want a treat? Hey. Treat? Come on. You gotta power the house. So this is how we like power most of our appliances. Zill is a really good active cat when she wants to be.